Magic and Halloween have had a long history together here in America. In 1929, a stage magician by the name of Elwyn Charles Peck, who performed under the name Elwyn, had an idea. His idea was to combine classic stage magic along with spooky seance-type tricks in order to create something he called the Midnight Spook Party. Elwyn promoted the show by saying he was in contact with the spirit world. Now, spiritualism had been very popular from the mid-1800s to the early 1900s, and um, Elwin had come up with an idea on how to capitalize on this. He rented out theaters that would normally be closed at midnight, then plastered the town with posters. It was such a huge success, he spawned dozens of imitators that catered mostly to people from the late teens to early 20s. Basically, a new type of entertainment had been created. In fact, they were the direct predecessors to the midnight movie phenomenon, which began in the early 70s. Others took Elwin's idea and added hypnotism, people dressed as monsters, vampires, and something called blackouts. The blackouts were exactly what it sounds like. The theater would go completely dark, and things like glowing ghosts and skeletons on wires would fly over the heads of the audience members. As corny as it sounds, it worked and people loved it. Movie theaters rented out their buildings and allowed spook shows access the, for the entire month of October, sometimes more. After the spook show, they would often show a scary movie. They were so popular, even the biggest names in horror films, such as Bela Lugosi and Glenn Strange, who portrayed Frankenstein, would show up and be part of the act. By 1965, a movie studio decided to create an interactive movie called Monsters Crash the Pajama Party. It was an interactive movie specifically designed to be shown at spook shows. The last authentic traveling midnight spook show gave its last tour in 1977.